The Appalachian Wireless 30th Anniversary Holiday Sale is going on now. From now until the end of the year, visit us in store or reserve online for an unbelievable sale and giveaway. We know what you want for the holidays because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Being back this year, it just shows just how grateful we really are and just how exciting it can be. After a long, heartfelt season, Johnson Central's football team will face off against Boyle County in the Class 4A state championship this Friday. Before the big game, Mountaintop had the opportunity to speak with players and coaching staff about the state championship and its importance following the passing of Coach Jim Matney last September. You know, we always get a little better uh, as, as the year goes on. Uh, in October, we didn't know, we didn't know what was going to happen. Um, you know, you kind of feel like uh, that you're, you're beneath the rock. You know, you're not between a rock and a hard place. Now you're, uh, the whole world fell on you. Uh, so to see these guys step up and work, and as much as they have, our coaching staff to, to step up and take on different roles like they have has been nothing short of the, than amazing. In the fight for state champions in 2020, Johnson County ultimately lost to Franklin County in the semifinals. In 2021, players say they hope to reclaim the title in Coach Matney's name. It was heartbreaking. It was, we felt like we were all people down not going for the first time. <laughs> But it was the first thing not to go in all those years. It was just, we felt like we let everybody down and we hated it. But um, we're glad that we beat Franklin this year and we're able to go back. And losing our coach this year, I know he wanted us more than anything to win a state championship and he knew he had the talent to do it and uh, winning it for him would be great this year. Usually you'd play every game for him. We're playing every play. Like As soon as we go out there, it's all for him. Leave it all on the line. If you come off the field and you're not tired, you did something wrong. It's all for the like, coach man. Although considered the underdogs to this year's championship, players say they hope to show their strengths and show what their team is about. Uh, yeah, I think as a team we like being underdogs. I think um, we're really underlooked as it is. Every team kind of like overlooks us just because of our play style. And uh, maybe we're not the biggest team, but we go out there and we give it all that we have every time. Oh yeah, we love it. I mean, we love being underdogs. We love everybody thinking that they're just gonna roll over us and that we don't stand a chance. We, we really do enjoy just making people eat their words. And following the passing of Coach Matney in September, Peck says they hope to use his memory to fuel the team moving forward. What he meant to every player on the field, what he meant to us as a coaching staff, uh, his memory has kind of uh, driven us and given us that drive to carry on and continue. Um, you can't take anything away from this football team. We've got a great group of seniors who's been together a long time. Uh, we've got a great coaching staff who's worked under Coach Matney for a long time. And so we've just tried to, to echo what he's passed down through the years. And, uh, and we've been fortunate this season that, uh, to play good enough to get back. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.